Hey, what up fam, it's Peyton here. Welcome to The Game Report. And today I'm going to be covering on how to actually read a vesting schedule and tokenomics. And this is to help somebody that's a little bit new uh, to reading tokenomics and kind of give you a feel on what to look for. And this actually comes out of requests of one of the newest wolves new to it, and he has been killing it uh, in this Discord. And so what I wanna do is kind of go over my thought process, why I made this Excel spreadsheet, and what actually information can I extract from it. So first of all, the right side is Legend of Illumia, um, and this is actually brought to us by one of the Core Wolves, uh, Savis, and this is the tokenomics. And what a lot of companies do, and I'm not saying that this one does this, is they kind of gloss over the tokenomics. They don't give you the Excel spreadsheet on the left uh, because they kind of want you to kind of move on. Uh, tokenomics is not a very strong suit for a lot of uh, gaming companies or gaming projects and it really shows. And one thing that you have to be mindful as a retail investor and somebody that's kind of looking out for themselves, um, that you're spending a lot of time to make capital work for you, is that you'll lose a lot of money through the emission rate or inflation. Um, and I'll show you kind of how that happens in the Excel spreadsheet uh, after I fill this out. Uh, so what are the information can you extract from just the website, right? So there's 1 billion in terms of the total supply. So after all of the tokens are minted and into the system, that's how much they should be. Uh, and then this is a percentage allocation. So that's a very good piece of information. Um, a lot of projects make it very hard to even find this. And so what I do here is I move over to my Excel spreadsheet. I put the total supply of uh, tokens right there. And then I put the percentages based on the allocation. So I put percentages and then I just make a... A specific easy function, um, you know, these, this specific block times this, or this specific block times this equals this amount of tokens. So that's 1% of all the tokens that will be in supply for the public sale. And uh, the next thing that we'd like to go, this is the other important piece of information. This is kind of the six month lock. You could also hear it as cliff. This is something that they say, oh, six month lock or six month cliff. What does that mean? That means that there's a certain amount of time that they cannot touch that investment. So the public sale, there's zero cliff uh, with the 14 day lock, but to make it easier on the Excel spreadsheet, I just made it the first month, the whole unlock amount. Um, and then the private sale has one month cliff or a, a uh, yeah, 30 days uh, cliff and then strategic has 45 days lock and so this is just the amount of time that it's supposed to take up for them Then their their linear vesting uh, starts to kick in and so I don't really go with weekly I just go with monthly because I want to see monthly how much my supply is being diluted if I hold from the very beginning And that's the uh, that's the example that we're going to give and so next up is uh, linear linear vesting so this is over a linear scale how much uh, tokens are going to be unlocked and so what I do here is the unlock amount. Uh, this is uh, over a course of three months. This is how much is going to uh, is going to be unlocked. So I make a super easy function. So uh, this specific token divided by uh, the amount of uh, linear vesting period. That's how much tokens are going to be unlocked every single month of that vesting period. And then what I do is based on the cliff, I start a specific month for uh, the token. And so. I kind of put it out there all the way till uh, month 42. Excel makes it super easy. Um, and what this represents is a, vi a good visual representation of the circulating supply every single month. Uh, so what here is the unlock amount. So month one, only the public sale. I'm gonna exit this so you guys can see the rest of it. So what you could see here is that uh, the public sale on month one is the only thing that's gonna be there along with some marketing and also liquidity. So all of these are the ones that don't have any type of cliff. So that should represent the circulating supply for the first month. Everything else has cliffs, which means that they're locked um, and that they cannot be touched. And I know there's some induendos, especially for this one, they have some like percentages. Each project's gonna be different. Um, this is more for learning purposes, not to like really um, uh, take a crack at uh, Lumeria, okay? So when it comes to this, this is how much is gonna be unlocked in month one. That's gonna be your circulating supply. Month two, uh, one thing gets unlocked, this private sale, and it starts their 12 month linear vesting period. So this is this amount is going to be unlocked every single month of the vesting period. So uh, that gets added in, so does uh, the strategic. And I, I made this uh, half of it because it it, their lock period was 45 days, if you remember. So that's how much, uh, is going to be added and this is how much the circulating circulating supply is after all of these tokens are added and so i just do that all over all the way to the end 
Um, and then what I do here is uh, figure out the inflation rate. Inflation rate is always the most important. So let's say that you buy at the public sale and you're holding, I don't know, a, a specific amount of tokens. Let's say that you're even holding half. Your next month, you're gonna get diluted by 57%. So they're adding 57% uh, of tokens into the supply. So there is currently in month one, there's uh, this amount of tokens and then they're adding this amount of tokens the next month to have a circulating supply of 43, what is that? I think that's 43 million. So 43 million is gonna be the new circulating supply. And in month two, they're adding 247 uh, million into um, uh, the, the system. And so that's 57% of the current circulating supply is going to be added in month two alone. So you want to make sure that this percentage is as low as possible because you are then going to get diluted the higher the percentage is, right? So if you're holding there and you're very happy, let's say that uh, the this pr token price was five dollars, all right. But then they added fifty-seven percent. That means like your rough estimate, if no demand changes, no nothing changes, you should really have two dollars and fifty cents, uh, if that makes sense. And so you want to be very careful in holding on to these very highly inflationary tokens, and this is like rampant through the space, uh, especially for gaming tokens. Uh, especially like a lot of them think that they have shorter lifespans and so a lot of them try to do cash grabs right so lumeria uh, in terms of like their inflation rates actually relatively to the overall gaming market it's not that bad uh which is like saying something right like 57 percent, 45 percent, 29 percent, 22 percent. that's still in my book like i don't want my tokens to be diluted that much uh but at the same time too you also have to ask yourself the question what's the alternative right um, for me personally, it's like NFTs and I, because they're a limited supply, um, and sometimes those NFTs give you some token allocation and some type of benefits. And I'd rather do that than own a specific gaming token, especially if there's no game attached to it, because then there's no ongoing demand to really circulate that to price, uh, to, to bring the price higher, uh, for it. So that is it. Hopefully it helps new to it. Hopefully this helps you kind of understand the vesting schedule and how to kind of build it yourself. Um, I wish that I could do it like all in real time. I actually tried that before this and I was just fumbling. I was very quiet over long periods of time, but I've, hopefully this kind of just, uh, was a lot shorter and it directed you to what you need to do. If you have any questions, please kind of comment, uh, down below while you're down there, like subscribe, all that good stuff. As always though, love you guys. Believe in you. Peace.